in this video we are going to create the native ui slider for one of the default templates over here so for now what we are going to do is we are going to create the native ui slider for the face mask so this is the default projects which you will be getting default templates you will be getting from the thing so there is nothing much in this so to create the native ui slider what you have to do is you have to go to the the platforms and uncheck the facebook on it and go to the capabilities and check for native ui control and in that select the slider option then done so this is much you have to do on the project step so now you are going to create create a script so let's open so in this what we are going to do is we are going to create a constant the points to add the store on the variable so what we are going to call it as well, well let's call it that so this is going to be like 0.5 so the thing to be noted is that for the slider the values must be from 0 to 1 so in between that the value should be there so now we are going to create another variable for the material to we are going to get the material and store it there let's call it mat and dot get let's see the material of what material we are using so we are using your face paint mat so this is the material you are going to control so now we are going to initialize the slider so for that you are creating a constant variable and we are going to call it as a slider so it is a part of native UI so n dot as you can see the constant is there so you can just directly initialize it so now the part to check for the slider values so whenever the slider value as the value for the slider so we want to call a function every time the value changes to create that we want to monitor the value so we are going to create a monitor function and we are going to check whether it is firing on the initial value so now we are going to create a subscribe for this subscribe is nothing but it's a function which every whenever you uh, tap or whenever the value changes the whatever function is under this will be called so inside this we are going to initialize the give the value to the so we are getting the value and storing it on the variable called val and we are getting the modified value as mod so we are initializing the val value to mod dot new so whenever the value changes on mod it will be changed on the val2 so now we are going to use the opacity of the material to the value of portion so what will happen is based on the change on the slider the opacity of the material will be there so it's done so we want to make it visible so before that we want to initialize the You want to initialize the value for the slider before like a default value so you can just give the same from 0 or anything so for now we are going to give like 0.5 let's keep it in the middle and now you want to make the slider visible using the visible option visible uh, property we are going to make it true 
so now what will happen is this will not be visible over the uh, what screen view over here it will be only visible on the mobile part so let's mirror this and test this on the mobile now in this the slider is based on the sliders value you can see the opacity is increasing and decreasing you can file this file from my github depository 